Amy and welcome back to my review channel. So today I'll be reviewing the GHD flat iron and I was actually forced to get a new one because I've been using a Sudu for eight years and it broke on me. Eight years ago when I got this flat iron I was a senior in college and I was sharing an apartment. I just bought the iron and my husband who was my boyfriend at the time just kind of stopped by and he stepped on my iron like the first or second day that I got it. So ever since then I've been telling him that he owes me a new one because he pretty much broke it right when it came. So I've been using it like that but it's been a mess like it doesn't close and open the right way I have to like prop it open in like weird ways and then the wires were sticking out my dad had to help me tape it up and like it was such a mess so I thought I bet if I tell my husband that I need a new one he'll just be like all right just go get one because it was really his fault I kind of knew what I wanted when this day was gonna happen and I really liked my to do but I really wanted to try the GHD and I actually tried out a GHD one inch before when I thought my to do was going to be broken and I don't know I thought that the results were pretty pretty comparable and I actually made a video of it on my other channel fashionably Jamie this was a couple years ago and I did one side with the to do one with the GHD and the GHD came out pretty well but I also thought the to do looked fine and I thought I'm just gonna wait till it totally breaks to get one so I ended up returning that one and now I'm here with this one and this is the GHD two inch one I wanted this one because it was a little bit bigger and it would match the size of my to do one a little bit more it's nice how it operates you can just press it on the hair and it pops open which is a luxury for me because when my husband stepped on my to do it didn't do this anymore and I always had to manually open and close it um, the on and off switch is in there and then it has a little LED light to show it's on it also has an auto sleep function so after 30 minutes I believe 30 minutes that it'll just turn off which is a good safety feature to have and there's no temperature controls on this like my to do had a temperature control but I'd always put it at the highest anyway but this one doesn't have it and then this one also has these grooves here where you can kind of press it down and create like more tension as you're coming down on the hair and you can also use that to help curl it under or curl it out so it just gives you a lot of control with that so obviously I've already straightened my hair and I've used this on it so I'm just gonna kind of go back in time in a way and show you what this looks like when I'm using it on just blow-dried hair so let's go back in time fall I think I've been watching Sabrina the Teenage Witch too much um, let's go check out the demo part so before I flat iron my hair I always blow dry it out so that the results are better they last longer and it's just smoother overall so that's what I'm doing first so once I'm done blow drying my hair, I am now ready to finally use the iron. So I'm going to turn it on now. And it makes a cute sound and you can see the light, a little light goes on. And it's not supposed to take long to warm up. I think about 30 seconds and then it makes a beeping sound. So it's all warmed up now. Sorry I didn't hear the sound. But if you're curious, it went something like doo 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 doo. I did keep one section that I just didn't blow dry out straight just so that you could see it on a little bit more curlier hair. So that was one time. It went pretty well, but definitely needs some more. Okay, so it's not bad for not having like blow dried it out, but I'm definitely glad I did blow dry it out. Oh, and by the way, when you see like kind of steamy, smoky look coming off of it, that's the product that I put in my hair like kind of steaming off. It's not my hair burning, just in case you're wondering. So I'm just going to go ahead and start sectioning off how I normally would. It's nice with this one, you can curve it and curl the bottoms of your hairs under, of your hair under really easily. So I just did this bottom side right here. You can kind of compare it to this side and um, <laughs> take a look, but 
So it seems pretty nice so far. I'm just going to keep going, but I just wanted to show the comparison so that you could see one side that's not flat irons and one that is right now. These little kind of grooves at the ends here. Um, you can take your hair, like put your hair in there and then kind of hold it to help like guide it and even to help like do a curl either under or whatever. So I think that these are really nice. Like. They get a little bit hot, but like this to do, you couldn't even touch like this top part at all. So like, um, actually this is a lot hotter than these are. These stay relatively cool. You can definitely touch them and do that. So I think that's a nice touch on here. So now my whole head is done using the GHD. Okay, so I'm all done straightening and here it is the final look. Um, and I think it came out good. I don't know, I feel like it came out similar to how my Sadu was. I'm not sure. When I did that video on my other channel, like a few years ago, and I compared the two, a lot of people were commenting they liked the GHD side better, and that was one of the reasons I thought, I'm definitely going to get the GHD when the Sadu is done. I feel like um, it did come out nice. I really liked how I could curl under and everything, and I feel like I'm going to flip out my layers sometimes too, just to add some more body. Even though that sounds like really ugly, like flip them all out, but I don't know. I'll just play around with it and see more. It's hard for me to make curls in it right now because I just straightened it, so my hair doesn't really go into a curl form as well. But definitely follow me on Instagram because and when I play around with it, I'll probably take a picture and throw it on there just to show you like what kind of curl and wave it creates. But other than that, I thought it was nice. It didn't really save me any time, but I feel like I could take bigger chunks with this one versus the Sudo one. I felt like I had to take smaller pieces to straighten. So next time I straighten, I'll probably do some small, some bigger pieces, which I did start doing as I was using this today, but I think I'll try it even more next time. And I do think it looks good. It has some good shine and it had a little bit more bounce than my Sudo gave. I know this will stay. I know a lot of you will ask, how long does it stay for? This is going to stay on me until I wash it, pretty much. Sometimes I have to do like touch-ups and stuff the next day or the next couple days, but generally it'll stay straight. Um, when I blow dry my hair first and then iron it, it stays really well. So, and I can tell that it will. Let me know what kind of straighteners you guys use and if you really and if you like them or not. I'm always interested to know because you never know, like I might want to try out a new one or maybe I'll use this the next time and not like it. I don't know. So I just like to try a lot of them out. Since my hair is curly, I really like to experiment and try out things and make sure that I'm using the right thing for my hair and the best thing. Like the thing that will take the least time and create the best straightening results and all this. So I'm always interested to know what you guys use. So let me know down below what you're using and if it's working for you. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!